It's a damn fine cup. 34 years after those words were first spoken at the fictional Double R Diner, the Twin Peaks universe lives on. Anything to drink besides water. Inside Tweed's Cafe. Every day, 365 days a year, someone comes here just because they love Twin Peaks. This is the only place that really looks like it does in Twin Peaks, so it's the only place that they can, like, step into the world of Twin Peaks. Max was born the year the show debuted and never imagined he and his wife would eventually own the diner. I have a PhD in philosophy and always thought that I would be in academia. She has a master's of midwifery and always thought she'd be delivering babies somewhere. You do realize that sounds like the plot of a David Lynch project. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> they joyfully honor the diner's worldwide fandom. Set photos adorn the red hallway. A super fan from Sweden helps design merchandise. And crowdfunding paid for the exterior sign's neon double R. It was really cool. Very special. Oh my gosh. <laughs> for non-fans, the classic American diner menu is more than reason to stop in. It is very delicious. And they are serious about serving cherry pie that lives up to Agent Dale Cooper's description. This must be where pies go when they die. The 90s may be long gone, but here, Twin Peaks is forever. I'm just happy, you know, that people are still interested in both Twin Peaks and our little diner, and we really like being here and a big part of North Bend and bringing people nice big plates of food. Here's to the next 30 years. Yeah, exactly.